Good morning, everybody. How are we doing it? Live from a very calm morning here in Delray Beach. Kevin. So I wanted to say hello, and I wanted to talk to you this morning about how we doing it. I'm launching a Facebook page called How We Doing It. Hey, Jared, I hope you're okay, buddy. Give me a thumbs up. Worried about you. Called you a bunch of times. I hope you're okay. You know, Jared's a perfect example of somebody who works really hard. He's consistent at every day, being the first one on and showing up. And yesterday when he didn't, I got worried, so he ended up in a hospital. So, Jared, we're all praying for you. We hope you're okay and that it's nothing too serious. So take whatever time you need, buddy. Whitey, my man, Whitey, I'm going to do that 7 o'clock time. Hey, Susie, good morning. How are you? Nice to see everybody. So the word I want to use today is consistency. So, you know, the sun moves around and sunrise comes at all different hours, minutes. I think I want to be consistent and just say, let's go for 7 o'clock. Know that I'll be here at 7 o'clock and whatever the sun does behind me, it'll do. Some days it'll be up. Sometimes it'll be down. Some days it'll be trying to come up. Consistency is what I want to bring to this. So consistency is all about making a commitment. It's really the steadfast adherence to applying the same principles over and over. Consistency isn't starting a diet on Monday and going back to your old habits on Wednesday. Consistency isn't joining a gym and going for three days in a row and then not showing up. Consistency isn't following a diet that says I'm not going to have any carbs and on the fourth day you sit down for a pizza. You got to be consistent in whatever your goals are. Now, relationships feed on credibility, honesty, and consistency. The more you're consistent, the more you're honest, the more credible you become, the better the relationships. Hey, Dennis, thanks for joining in. One of the other things I've learned about consistency, I like to use the word longevity. You know, at my age now, I have a lot of friends that are retiring. Were they better than me? Were they smarter? I think they were just more consistent. I think they saw the opportunity with one thing, stayed put, and became experts. And put the work in, the discipline, the consistency, the longevity, and now they're reaping the rewards. I couldn't be happier being in the place that I'm in. Took a different journey to get here. But if I could ever share a lesson with you about sticking with one thing and becoming an expert and putting in the time, the effort, the energy. There are no shortcuts. Yeah, you could pick up a newspaper and read about a guy whose company was sold for a billion dollars. Do me a favor, read the backstory. Just like Dwayne Wade last night, retired, last game at home in Miami. Tonight he ends his career in Brooklyn, last game as a pro. Was it easy? Was it an easy road? He worked his ass off consistently over a long period of time. I've learned from experience that if you work harder at it and apply more energy and time to it and more consistent consistency, you get a better result. It comes from the work. You know, you, can ch you can't change your circumstances, change your attitude. Funny thing is, when you do, you'll find that the circumstances often change. So today's message is really about consistency, longevity, staying where your feet are, being, staying in one place. You know, I have people that are working for me that are doing eight things at once. And I got other people that have their head down and are just taking it all in, becoming experts in the field that we work in. And the success and the fun that they're having is, is, is incredible. So what I, what I think today is look at what we talk about. Tomorrow, somebody asked me to talk about fear. We're going to talk about why we don't attack our goals, why we don't stay consistent. What is that noise in our head that stops us from getting to where we want to be? Today, it's an amazing day. You know how I always talk about the beach here? Look at this. The water is so calm. 
There are wakeboarders out there today, and there are not windsurfers. Things change. Life changes. Adapt to the changes. And that's what we're doing out here. I'm being consistent in bringing you my messages. I want to be here every morning at 7 o'clock. I'd appreciate if you go to How We Do It It on Facebook and like the page. I'm going to start posting there. I want this community to start sharing some of their thoughts, their ideas, subject matters, stories, things that you're grateful for. This can get really robust. Invite friends. Repost what I'm posting. That would be awesome. That's what I'd ask you to do. I have not asked yet. How are we doing it? Go there. Like it. Share it with your friends. Repost what I'm doing. And together we're going to do amazing things. We're going to be consistent at this. 7 o'clock is the time that you're going to see me on Facebook Live. I am trying to figure out how to do Instagram, but I do have a lot going on and I want to get going. So this is going to be the main hub. That will figure itself out. How are we doing it on Facebook? Please spread the word. Have an awesome day. Consistency, longevity, relationships, gratitude. We got it all right here. We can do it together. Anything is possible. Have an amazing day. Pay it forward. Be grateful. And let's spread how we doing it. Thank you. Susie, big hugs and kisses right back at you. Carolyn, great seeing you. Shelly, Jared, you're a beast. Be careful. We'll be happy to see you in the office. You're amazing. That's unbelievable. Everybody have a great day. How we doing it? Spread it. Let's grow this community.